Let's practice relating the graphs on the phase plane, the xy plane, to the graphs of x of t and y of t in a linear system. Here's a basic linear system. It came from a second order differential equation, and you can verify that yourself. But I'm going to use an ordinary window, t range from minus 1 to 10, and I'm going to look at initial condition x equals 2 and y equals 0. Let's look at two different plots. If I ask for the solution of this system, numerically, here's the point 2, 0. And the computer shows the future of the system in green in the past and kind of an amber. And apparently this system is oscillating about the origin, oscillating and being drawn into the origin. Look at the x motion. The x motion has a value of 2 at time 0 matches our initial condition and then the x motion oscillates back and forth about x equals zero it's a couple of wiggles and then it settles into equilibrium at zero for the y motion y at time zero is zero that matches our initial condition and it oscillates back and forth around the origin until it settles into zero if we change the system slightly, let's change the coefficient of the y. Use the same initial conditions. Let's compare the graphs again. You should be able to read the solution curve in the xy plane and draw these x of t and y of t graphs, or vice versa. Again, notice x has initial condition of 2 at time 0, and x after time zero is always positive, slowly decaying to zero. There's a potential before time zero that x was negative. I don't know the value of this point. Certainly this graph, if it continued upwards, x could have been negative to begin with, or could have been negative at some time. Look at the y graph. y of zero is zero, according to our initial condition, but in the future of this graph, time greater than zero, y is negative and recovers to zero. I see this in the y graph. y is negative and then recovers to zero. Previously, y was positive. In the past, for t less than zero, y was positive. Practice relating the graphs of systems, solutions, to the graphs of these individual solutions. Practice relating graphs in the phase plane to individual solution graphs x of t and y of t.